For the first and only time, the Arclight Cinemas in Hollywood are going to be showing films shot on 35 millimeter. And one of those movies is the first film in 50 years, actually, to be shot on three strip 35 millimeter film. And it's called In the Picture. And one of the stars of that film joining us in the studio tonight to talk about being in the picture. Yeah. yeah, we'd like to welcome Stanley Livingston back. Of course, I think the last time we saw you in here, you were talking about My Three Sons. We, we had, had on your co-stars. My Three co Sons Day in L.A., yes. yes. Yeah. I had uh, Tim and Barry here with me. <laughs> that was a good day. Well, nice to have you back. And now you're working on a, a whole new project, yes. uh, kind of a flashback to your past as well. So. It yeah, that's another flashback to the past. I was in a film called How the West Was Won, which kind of brought me to this particular piece. Uh, How the West Was Won was a Cinerama film. Uh, it was made in 1962 and starred virtually everybody in Hollywood at the time, including yours truly. Uh, I'm in the last third of the movie, and I was Debbie Reynolds. Uh, Is that you? That, that cute little fellow on the left? Can you see that? That's me. With the hand in the wagon, yes. You were only 12 years old when only this was on. You were already doing My Three Sons. Yes, I was doing My Three Sons, and Henry Hathaway saw me on that show and asked to see me and brought me in. And he was the nicest guy in the world on the interview. And then when it came to the set, he turned into a Jekyll and Hyde type of character. But. <laughs> he was a little demanding, was he? Yes. Well, here we are now, all these years later, and you're co-producing and starring in a new picture called yeah. what in the, in the picture yeah we it's a what we're doing is paying homage in this particular piece to all the Cinerama movies the early ones were done as these travelogues right. and we decided hey why don't we take that format and do that but instead of going to exciting places like the, <laughs> the pyramids yeah. and Spain <laughs> and Paris and the Eiffel Tower we're in LA <laughs> we went to Angel's flight <laughs> for those of us that are not in the know explain yeah. exactly what this three strip 35 millimeter is how does this work well it Cinerama came about because in 1952, um, the theaters were losing audiences to TV, which was in its inception, but coming on strong. And the theater owners and the movie studios decided, hey, we got to come up with something, and what would be better than being big? So the idea of Cinerama was born, and they went, because before that, when you went to the theater, you saw the square format that you saw on a TV sure. screen, right. uh, which is 1 to 1.33. Cinerama is 1 to 2.76, so it's almost three times as wide as it is high. But it's shown on a curved screen. So what it does is emulates almost what you see in, in your real life as a human being. You, you see motion in a completely different way, and it's big, very big. So here we are. It's, it's the, uh, what, the, the 50 year anniversary of, of the creation of this. And there are a few theaters that can actually run a film like this. Yeah, there's only about four theaters, I think, in the country that can run this right now. I think there's one also in uh, Paris and London, but very few theaters. So they decided to put a Cinerama festival together. Well, that's nice. They're showing every single one of the Cinerama movies movies that were ever made and they premiered our particular project at this too kind of paying homage to Cinerama and 50 years later here it is and 60 years for Cinerama going all the way back to 1952 when the first one was shown. Now if you're piquing people's interest out there that are watching here explain what is your movie about what's going on? Well like I said it, what we did is we decided to do it's it's done in a travelogue okay. you know motif so we're kind of going showing different sites in LA but w at the same time what we're doing is kind of filling people in of, as to what Cinerama was. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know how interesting and huge it is I mean people today I guess their frame of reference is IMAX and even yeah. though IMAX mm -hmm. is big it's still a flat screen and until you experience something in Cinerama where it's wrapping around you to your literally your periphery vision it, it's amazing yeah. and you were saying it's it's no easy task that it takes a lot of work uh, the camera weighs about 350 pounds. We don't have the blimp for it. In fact, interesting, the, the very camera we're using had to be restored to shoot this particular piece. Really? And it's the camera that was used to shoot How the West Was Won. So I was reacquainted uh, with an old friend, so to speak. <laughs> but the, the guy who put this together, his name is Dave Strohmeyer. He's yeah. the director and writer. He's, he's the guy that restored all the Cinerama films, so what you're seeing today. So part of it is for ar archival purposes, that you're taking something that could have gone away or rotted in a, a storage been somewhere yeah. and it's all been restored and being presented to audiences today. You personally, why is it so important not only to be involved in it, but to see somebody else doing it even if you're not involved in it? I just think, you know, I love the, the movie industry. I've been involved right. since about 1955, so obviously I have a vested interest in it too, surviving. But to be involved in something I thought historical would really be interesting, to take something that hadn't been done in 50 right. years and to see if we could do it. And, you know, we didn't know whether this camera was ever going to get restored, <laughs> but when it finally was, it kept the, sh the start date kept getting pushed down. Are you happy with it? It's, it's an amazing film to watch. Yeah, we have some really good production value in it. We were out on the water. That, 
was my favorite and my least favorite part. We had some great stuff out on the water on this on this big sailing ship. Yeah. But the worst part is I'm susceptible to uh, seasickness. Oh, <laughs> so no. oh, no. my love scene was kind of crazy. I, I had a scene where I have to <laughs> kiss my wife, and I was like, I am. She goes, You look green. And I go, I am green. Oh, if my you gosh. only knew, yeah. yeah. But it's at the arc light now. It's at the arc light. It's going to be uh, the Cinerama Festival runs through this Thursday, and they're oh, kind of good. rotating so the films. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of these, you have a chance still uh, if you come between now and that Thursday to see everything. It, it will blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all that work just lining up all the, those three pieces of film. I know you said oh, it's pretty tough. Oh, well, if you go up into the projection room, that's what's cool. There's three projectors. It takes three operas and two people running the sound. So it's not like what they do today the where some guy flicks a switch and goes out and has lunch and comes back. <laughs> These guys are working. Stanley Livingston. Right. It's always great to have you in. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Good luck thanks. with the film. Thanks so much, right, guys. Buddy, thanks.